Hello guys, this is Cody here with EasyLocalHero.com and today I am going to talk to you a little bit about our service. Uh, we call it local. Um, it's where it's our business listing and management service. Okay, so what is a local search? So that's basically what you type into the Google address bar when you're looking for something online like uh, Tire Repair San Diego, Plumbers Near 14201 pizza delivery so these are local searches where people are looking for a local service in their local community so it's basically a search term plus a location all right so uh, here's here's a picture of kind of what the search results will look like um, on a this probably more of on a PC but uh, your Google search results page first at the top there um, you're right here you're gonna have uh, your Google AdWords, um, all your paid advertising, um, things like that. So if you got a Google AdWord campaign running, you're going to see your ad up here, depending on you know keywords and all that nonsense that you set up in your Google Ad account. Um, and then you're going to have your uh, your local business listings, your map pack, your Google pack pack here. Um, this is one of the areas we focus on in our local um, product service. So. Um, right here and then down here you got your organics we I call it the organics um, but it's right here under the map so you could have like a YouTube video pop up here your website no not necessarily your website but a web page on your website or a landing page something like that um, so let's just go over real quick about um, online searches offline sales 78% um, of local mobile searches result in offline purchases um, 50 percent of these consumers shop locally as a direct result within 24 hours so when you're in the Google map pack I mean you're you're getting prospects your leads are gonna be people with buyer intent I mean they're actively looking to spend money like right now or within you know the 24 hours like most people do um, so the Google search map results um, here, here's an example of what it looks like um, right here so you got your top three um, when and then if you kick the more places this is what pops up you can scroll through you can find all the local people their ratings and all of that good stuff okay so let's talk about if your business is verified or not um, so if you google your business just like for example this Reynolds pest management Port St. Lucie, Phil. This is something that's going to come up here. Um, if you see suggest and edit, that means your business has already been claimed, um, hopefully by you. If not, it could have been by a past employee or a marketing company, somebody that had done your marketing in the past. Um, but it doesn't matter. Um, you can fix that. Um, if you need any help with that, just give uh, you know contact me. My contact information will be in the description low um, again here's just another result looking page you got your Reynolds pest management is number one they got 153 views uh, you know they got their phone number and they're also down here Oops. sorry well anyways they were right down there in the uh, organics as well um, so here's what it looks like um, inside of your Google my business account when you're setting it up um, you here's the most important things in this is you know making sure your address here um, is in make sure it's consistent with everything else you got online I mean even if you're running a Craigslist ad or you know your address on Facebook your website your landing page your sales funnel any other directory out there on the internet you want to make sure this address is exactly the same um, even on the um, Chamber of Commerce or Secretary of State uh, when you list your business or register your business you want this to all be the same uh, across the web okay you want your hours in there when you're um, doing a local marketing campaign and you want you so that's basically it for the most important thing I mean that's not basically it but you want your name your address your hours and your phone number all to be consistent okay okay here's some pictures um, obviously um, inside your Google Map account um, hopefully if you have one you know you're you've got it decorated with your just like you would in Facebook you know or 
any other social media account, your cover account, your profile, your logo, um, you're adding pictures, you know, weekly, um, or, you know, your customers can also add pictures. Um, but this keeps you active and engaged with your prospects and Google uh, recognizes that as value and as trust and it, it will certainly help you rank better in your uh, local search results, okay? So what determines local search rankings? Well, there are hundreds and hundreds of factors that can determine uh, your local ranking. Um, well, we're not going to get into that right now because if you're looking at this video, you probably have a business or maybe you want to do it yourself, but you really don't need to understand everything Google is doing. You could drive yourself crazy trying to understand it all or learn it all, um, but, but there is a ton of things, but we're going to go over the basics and you know what's most important and basically what any business owner needs to know um, for their own purposes. So when you're marketing, you know, Google always... Uh, the, this, these are the three things. It's relevance, prominence, and your location. Okay. So relevance. Relevance refers to how well a local listing matches with matches what someone is searching for. So in other words, Google uh, tire shop near me. So if you're a tire shop, you're within you know 15 miles of that person. You, you got reviews. You're engaged with your prospects. You're you're up on your Google account. You're doing a posting. You have a good deal going on something like that it's going to help uh, Google say hey let's put this guy in front of this prospect because we know that they offer this service and they're trusted by their community therefore we trust this person so they're going to it's going to help get you ranked in the Google map pack as well as the organics for local searches okay so uh, another factor is going to be distance um, just, it's just like what it sounds, how far is uh, each potential search result from a location term used in a uh, search. So if it's a uh, marketing agency, Miami, that's pretty vague because Miami's huge. Um, but they're, you know, Google can tell where they are by, you know, if their location is turned on in their device or whatever. Um, but they will determine that on their own. You don't need to understand it all. Google's very good at it. And they will put your business in front of that person. So, um, and prominence. Okay, prominence refers to how well known a business is. Some places are more prominent in an offline world, and search results try to reflect this in local rankings. For example, famous museums, landmark hotels are well known. Store brands that are familiar to buy um, to people. You know, I messed that up. You know, store brands that are familiar to many people are also likely to be prominent in local search results. Okay, so um, ratings are important for this uh, prominence, uh, for example. So just a quick note and a tip. If you're a local business like a restaurant or a tire shop, um, figure out a way that you can um, start um, um, uh, and giving your customers an incentive to leave you a positive review. Um, like, you know, hey, you know, they just got their tire fixed. Hey, man, we can give you 50% off if you leave a, a good review. And there's plenty of programs out there for that. I'll try to find some and put them in the description below. Um, but having people, you know, engage with your, your Google account is a good thing. Obviously, positive ratings are the best thing. Uh, but you will get negative ratings just like everyone does. I mean, some people just, I think that's what they live for is just to, to bash on on small businesses but even if it's a negative or a positive make sure you're logging into your google account and you're responding to each and every review um okay so um go ahead and um thank you everybody for contacting you know my business support team we're always here happy to help i understand that you're concerned about not seeing your business listings on google search maps um there's no way to request or pay for a better local ranking on Google. However, I noticed a few opportunities for you to improve in the business information on your listings. What can you do? Now, here's a few things. Um, I think I've already mentioned most of them, but, but here's a few things you can do, okay? Enter complete data. 82% um, of consumers use search engines to find information about local businesses. Okay, make sure you've entered all of your business information in my Google business and are keeping it up to date. Okay, if a holiday is coming and you're closing, make sure you just log in and let them know 
Um, I would suggest if you're doing this on your own that you just go ahead and and do all your hours. Just do it all at once. It's going to take you know 45 minutes maybe. Check out your holidays or if you have a planned vacation, you're going to be closed. Um, just go ahead and do all that. Get it scheduled in there. You can set up the whole year. That way you can just you know forget about it um, because I know how busy uh, you are. I know how it's easy to forget things and before you, you know it's just do it all at once uh, Google appreciates it um, they want to know when you're open when you're closed um, they don't want to be sending uh, prospects to a business that says they're open when they're not so um, this all helps with the whole prominence thing trust value with Google it's gonna help you get ranked so just add photos if you, you're not a, a photographer that's fine just uh, you're a pest control guy you're out there and your crews out there have them snap a couple pictures once in a while with their cell phone uh, out of your shop if you're having a barbecue a safety meeting um, anything just take some pictures post them up on the Google you know keep it updated Google knows you're open they know that you're being uh, engaged in the community and it's gonna really help your rankings okay so uh, and give your here's another thing everybody likes instant gratification this is a problem we get all the time you know people you know pay for a service about for SEO for instance and you know it's three o'clock in the afternoon and tomorrow at two o'clock they're calling and wondering how come they're not number one on Google but it I'm sorry I wish it happened that way but it don't um, so you, you got to give your listing some time um, I noticed that your listing has been verified fairly recently our, lo our uh, local results ranking takes into account the prominence of the business on the web also allow your listing more time to occur impressions okay so it's important just just relax we're gonna do a good job for you if you're using us um, if you're doing it yourself it's still gonna take some time maybe even a little longer because there's a lot to it and it takes a lot of time and I know how difficult it can be for a business owner to well get it all done themselves oh, and I also know how difficult it can be to delegate that to another person so anyways if we're doing it for you we're gonna be on top of it you'll be able to log into your back office you'll be able to see everything we're doing in real time what's been completed what needs to be you know what we're working on so rest assured um, just relax it's gonna happen all right uh, so make your business uh, listing awesome okay so this is important make you try to get your graphics good make sure you're you're talking the lingo of, of your your target market I mean if you're a you're a framing company in in uh, Wisconsin some backwoods in Wisconsin obviously the language is going to be different um, if you're a chiropractor in, in Jacksonville Florida um, so just make sure you're, you're talking to your customers not what you think you should be doing I mean a lot of people make that mistake uh, plumbers talk away drywallers talk away roofers I mean I've been in the construction industry for 20 years and I can almost tell you who's who just by listening to them talk just because I've been around it my whole life so um, lingo the way they talk I mean talk to your customers I can't I can't say how much more important that's gonna be okay guys so um, let's just move on okay here's some a couple things that Google looks at uh, a simple way to look at uh, local ranking factors okay local your website and your repetition now the thing is is we need to be consistent across this I mean we can't be really good at the local thing and then really suck on our website you know we built it five years ago and it's still got some dummy text in there or an old picture or links that don't work or you know things like that and we see that all the time because you know it's hard to you know it's hard to um, find the time to do it it's frustrating it's a learning curve and and business owners it, it's just you know this is what we do but if you want to attempt it hallelujah go for it but I know it can be difficult so just make sure that you're you're doing all these things even if you got to schedule it okay uh, your social platforms be active on them uh, keep keep up with your reputation you know when you mess up on a job site or when your employees screw something up just make sure you're prompt with them because um, I, when I had my installation business oh boy my guys would really mess some things up but one thing I had going for me and I'm not bragging but it is one of the things that set me apart from other companies is when something got messed up and the builder 
called me or our customer called me and said, Hey, they only blew four inches in my attic space and I paid for I paid for an R thirty eight and they're they're pissed off. Well I go I show up and I'm there prompt most of the time that day, if not the next morning. And, and whatever their need is, I'm taking care of it. And then I'm going to go above and beyond. They're not going to get a 38 no more. They're going to get a 49. They're going to they're going to see it for themselves. And I'm going to shake their hand. I'm going to apologize. And I'm telling you, nine out of ten of those people have still given me a five star review or recommended me to their friends and family, um, people that. You know, they would only recommend somebody they trust to. So Google's the same way, guys. Um, and that's the thing. Everybody understands we're all human. We all mess up. Uh, crews mess up. Employees are employees. We got good ones. We got bad ones. We got mediocre ones. Um, so the thing is, is, if we're on top of it, we're engaged with them. And we're apologetic. We go above beyond. We're always trying to offer value. And we're always trying to make things right. Our reputation's always going to be good. And this is a very, very, very important thing when you're um, in, in a local market. Um, I can't stress that much. And I'm kind of off track there. I apologize for that. I just thought it was important to say. Um, don't be scared to answer your phone even when you get yelled at. Just take care of it. And you know, be the best you can be, and I, and this here will be good for you always. I promise. Okay, so local ranking and your website factors. Okay, uh, we call it NAP. So it's name, address, phone. Um, like I said before, we need to make sure it is always consistent. Okay, uh, crawlable keyword content. You gotta have title tags, keywords, your city, your state, and your website. Uh, Keyword presence of title pages, NAP presence on every page, quality authority of inbound links, image optimized, mobile friendliness, and responsive uh, websites. This is a huge one that your websites are mobile uh, friendly. Okay, so if somebody's looking on their phone, it's easy to read without scrolling side to side, or the words aren't too small. Um, this is a very, very important thing with Google. Inbound links are important, backlinking, some people call them. Um, their in, images are optimized. Now, I don't want to go into all this because this is just a little bit techy, um, SEO-y, and I, what, if you're a local business, what do you want? You just want results. Um, you just want to know how to do it. You don't care about all this background stuff. Um, if you want to know more about it, feel free to contact me. Uh, like I said, my information's in the description below, and I would be happy to help you in any way that I can okay all right so local ranking social and repetition factors okay quality of reviews on Google Yelp Facebook LinkedIn etc um, uh, Google calls these mentions um, so when people are talking about you Google knows um, so let's work keep working on I, I just said all this but social and repetition just keep it up overall sentiment of ratings you know three star four star you know that's going to determine where Google wants to rank you. Obviously, the higher the rating, the more your customers trust you, and they want to make sure they're serving the prospects correctly. So they're going to put, you know, what they think it would be the best uh, person to fulfill their service or their need in front of them. Okay. So um, number of shares, likes, follows. Um, in other words, stay active on Facebook. Don't just post something and then three months later post something else and then six months. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just keep it consistent. Keep it active. If you use us uh, for any of the social media stuff, we'll be doing this for you um, on a consistent basis so you wouldn't have to ever worry about it again. Okay? Social media presence and activity and, of course, customer engagement. All right. Local rankings, local listings, and factors. Again, NAP. Um, this keeps popping up because it's super, super important getting ranked locally. Okay? address and phone number we're gonna go ahead and move on because I've covered all that already um, we make your business stand out with weekly posts okay Google has a good thing going on now and it's you know what the Google post so we will make your business stand out with weekly posts if you're not going to use this uh, take advantage of it and post in Google weekly you can have a good ad here you can do a short article which is directed to your your uh, lead capture page, your website, or whatever it is that your, your sales funnel is, a phone number to a sales rep, or whatever it is your sales funnel is, um, this can all be done right here, and Google's going to rank you 
a lot better if you're posting ads every week or short articles for your customers. Okay. Okay, so there are four primary sources of data for all major search engines. Uh, so like Google, Bing, you know, they use these four um, people to get all their data for their citations and local directories and so forth. Um, we've already talked about all that, but we use all these and we submit your information to over 300 directories. If you decide to use us, that's what you can expect from us. Okay, guys, um, like Infogroup, like I just said, on you seen on the last page here, and here's all the directories in here. Um, here's us right there, and we are also right here because we have our own local directory, like Dex Nodes, which is popular, Foursquare, Twitter, Hot Frog, um, Yellowbot, Yellowbook, Dex Note. I mean, I already said that, but those are some popular ones. Yelp, Google, Bing, YP, Angie's List, Home Advisor. I'm sure you've heard of those. Um, but anyways, we do all that for you. You don't have to worry about it. We get it done. It's going to take, you know, 90 to 120 days for us to complete it all. But um, just be patient. You'll be able to see what we do um, in your back office at all times. And if any time you have a question or concern, uh, we value our um, customer service very highly. It, we outsource nothing and our, everything is it right here in, in the United States of America and you can expect uh, English speaking American customer support quickly and people that actually care about local businesses. And we take a lot of pride in that and I am very happy to just brag about it. So um, that's what you can expect from us on that. Okay guys, uh, here's just another slide on the uh, data, uh, your citations here just take a look at it um, I've already talked about it all so that's you know you can log in and see that anytime you know here's a is this a Yelp page nope this is our easy local directory um, which we'll be putting you in for free no charge obviously um, like most directories are um, but we handle all this for you you're gonna get your post in here. It's gonna be real professional. You're gonna to start to show up in uh, your local search results. And believe it or not, a lot of people go directly to easylocal.com just to search for um, local businesses. So this will help you. Out. And if you're not on there and you're not even using this, just make uh, give me a call, contact me, um, and that that's free. Of course, I can help you with that. Um, no charge, absolutely, ever. Um, you may get a call from a, a sales rep or something, but um, no obligations. You are, um, that is, Easy Locals directory is absolutely free. And if you need help setting it up, I am uh, more than willing to help you out with that. Okay, guys? Um, you know, we like I said earlier, uh, Yelp, YP, you know, your information is consistent. You know, exactly the same addresses phone number everything is consistent across the web very 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 important so if you're doing it yourself make sure um, you keep that in mind if you have somebody that works for you doing it make sure you uh, convey that to them um, if you're having us to do it then you know we're you don't have to let us know anything we'll take care of that for you obviously all right guys <clears throat> so what, what's the pricing of this okay um, our services start at 169 a month, which is, uh, if you've done any research yet, you'll know that that is good. Um, our setup fee is normally um, about $800. Um, we had it drop down to $700. Now we're in COVID-19. Um, so we even got this drop down a little more. Right now, the setup fee is only $249. Um, and we do the 300 plus listings. It description, we do your Google, Bing. We do your Yelp, you do your YP listings, and we do monthly management on that. So it's a really good deal. And matter of fact, we have uh, a spectacular deal where you can get all of our products basically for uh, $249 a month. And I think the setup fee is a little more because obviously it's uh, all of our products, which is SEO, web design, uh, repetition management, and then our local pack, which is what we're talking about right now. Okay. Um, so if you're interested in that, There'll be a link in the description below, or you can give me a call at any time. All right. So what can you expect if you uh, decide to use uh, easylocalhero.com for your services? 
um, or easy local. Um, within a business day, you're going to get a welcome call. Uh, two to three business days, you're going to get an onboarding call with your uh, personal account manager. Uh, you'll have your easy local listings uh, within two to three days, and you'll be able to see that for yourself. Um, you'll get Google and being verified. Now that happens within two to four weeks. If you're not on Google or being yet, um, if you already are on that, we can just take over the account and obviously it's already done. We don't have to go through all this again. If we do, it will take two to four weeks. Okay. So data provider, uh, submission processing takes one to four weeks. And then all the citations, which I talked about earlier, which is the 300, uh, citations in the directories will take us between 90 and 120 days to complete. All right. So, so here's some things to know, some things you can take away from uh, um, from this video, okay? Google local listings only for businesses who conduct face-to-face -face transactions, okay? So if you got a business location um, in, in town there in Jacksonville and they come into your office face-to-face -face transaction, um, that's, a, that's a local business, okay? Residential uh, locations are okay. In this case, we usually hide the address and then just set up your service area. This would be for like a startup, like a garage door repair company or pest control, insulation, roofing. Um, somebody that's still working from their, their resident, maybe they got a big shop out back and people aren't you know, just showing up all day um, there. So we just hide that address and then put your service area in Google Maps, okay? No PO boxes are allowed. You must have a physical address, okay? Local phone numbers are strongly recommended. If you have an 800 number, I would just, I would recommend doing away with that and use a local number because Google is going to love you for that and they're going to show you their love, okay? All right, only on Google local profile per business unless, okay, I don't know if I said that right, but only one Google local profile per business unless separate physical legitimate business locations so if you have more than one location and more than one town that's okay but you can only have one profile for your business so you can't have a separate profile for the different services you offer so i'm in the marketing business so and with seo web design repetition management i can't have a profile for seo a profile for repetition management uh, um you know what i mean it's just one profile internet marketing uh easy local hero.com so that's kind of how that works all right uh, google will often uh look on street view to determine if an address is associated with the business so if they're kind of iffy or if there's if or anything's questionable um you've seen the street view thing google can use it anytime they want and they can use this as well to help verify um, the addresses you are given to them with their street uh, with their street view technology. Okay, um, virtual offices are not allowed. Um, I've seen some people get by with it if they're suite numbers. Um, that's usually okay, but if it's just one address, you know, three nine five four um, Virginia Way, you know, and 15 people are using it it's not going to work okay um so just remember that virtual offices that you rent by the hour things to meet clients or something like that ain't going to work for uh google my business guidelines all right um ranking is most likely for a city associated with physical addresses within a 10 to 15 mile radius okay um mobile and local search are uh, mainstream in search online and by offline. Google and Bing pull out and business information from a variety of sources and do the best they can do to match that data that comes with these offer sources with what they have their own index, okay? Um, consistency is a great thing. Um, even for experts, the local search ecosystem is incredibly confusing. So just remember all that, and um, if you're looking to get this done, again, it's only $169 a month. If you want to take advantage of more, um, it's starting right now at the $249 a month. You can get a website, local pack, repetition management, social uh, and social media management for only $249 a month, and that is a heck of a deal, okay? Um, and then the setup fee is if you just want to do one at the $169, it's $249. Uh, if you want to go ahead and grab them all, $249, that's um, $500, um, I think is what the setup fee is right now. But just feel free to contact me here 
352-283-5146 or contact me with the link below in the description um, or even in the comments here. I'll be more than welcome to help you out with that. Okay, guys.